While WWE's rating is still PG, I don't think that this is PG era anymore. And that list doesn't include the fact that Scooby-Doo is sometimes on the WWE. That never happened, forget about that. When I think about PJ era, the first thing that comes in my mind is John Cena. And not because of what he did, but that time was the PG era. And WWE were really careful with their storylines, with what they are saying. They didn't even use the word bitch for a really long while. But I think it's a new era in the WWE for a while now. We need a new name for WWE era. For the record, I really hate this the new era thing. That's just bad, like seriously, after 20 years it's still going to be called the new era, even though it's old. Why? Either way, 5 reasons why WWE is not PG anymore. Backstage brawls. This thing that we got in the Attitude Era, you know, going out of the ring, fighting, doing these crazy things. And that is happening in the WWE right now. We have storylines, we had them outside of the ring. We have Triple H attacking, you know, Roman Reigns uh, backstage. People even fighting on Talking Smack. Cesaro and Sheamus beating the crap out of some dudes in a bar. That, that's not very PG, I guess. Except the fact that Cesaro didn't drunk his alcohol. Why, Cesaro? Why? Dick jokes and sexual references. From time to time, we get Enzo Amore talking about dick and we also love sexual references about dicks the biggest examples would be you know enzo amore and the new day you know those moments where you know the new day is something doing with like this and it's supposed to mean something else but we assume it's a train it feels weird you know sexual moments Enzo walking backstage with his dick hanging. It's obviously blurred, you know, but his dick is hanging, not very PG. And you see everybody commenting on his dick, even taking pictures. And then you see Enzo in a hotel with Lana. Lana is doing sexual things, you know, switching her dress and showing the boobs and telling him to, you know, it's all big. put his pants off. And then he gets beaten backstage. But the point is, it's very sexual. And the Attitude Era was also very sexual. I don't think that anyone could say that this is PG. Like seriously, I, I don't think so. Another thing, WWE became obsessed with dicks. Like seriously, Enzo's dick is more over than half of the roster. More dicks. Oh, oh that, that, that was a crappy joke. The language. Words like bastard, bitch are being used a lot. Like even this week, Charlotte called her father a son of a bitch and she also called herself a bitch. That she was a bitch. And uh, yeah, that was a whole big thing about bitches. And this is just one example. We hear this stuff all the time in the WWE. But there was a point in the WWE with a very big PG era, you know. Those words were like banned. The blood. In 2008 or 9 or something, you know, when the PG era happened, Chris Jericho and Batista were having a match and Batista, you know, was bleeding. Or Jericho, I don't remember which one and because they were bleeding they got a big fine like they had to pay thousands of dollars i guess because of that you know because you can't bleed in the pg era but right now you saw blood in the wwe like a lot of times this year like six or seven and in one particular time it was a fake blood which means that you know they do it on purpose at one point baron saxon gave roman reigns a fake blood and you know he was bleeding after that so yeah, blood is still in the WWE. So I think it's time to stop calling it the PG era. And right now it's actually not even the attitude era, not the ruthless aggression era, it's D era. And the D stands for dick, because there's a lot of dicks in this era, references and shit. I, I tried. Thanks for watching, let me know in the comments below some of the worst WWE finishers of 2016. You know, the roster of 2016, you know all the rosters, tell me the worst ones and I will make a list, probably. Also make sure to click that notification button to get all the videos once I upload them. Because YouTube is effed up right now and sometimes that doesn't happen, you don't see the videos and it makes me sad right here. It makes the great one... Oh. If you're not down with that, I have three words for you. The dick era.